right, heading today. Go get some lunch in between the rains. It uh, it was really bad yesterday. That's why I told my girlfriend, say, hey, you're not going to work. Too many uh, roads on the way to where she goes, they pull out out. And so, uh, and I was right. So, but then last night, we're sitting there watching TV and her son's girlfriend walks in the door and then a little while later, her son comes in and uh, they're wanting to, to borrow my Xterra. And I'm like, well, you need a truck for her. And uh, they'd gone out to eat. I guess I should have told them not to get on the roads. So I guess they were over in, around Long Beach and some roads were flooded out. And they were following some cars that were going through some deep water. Some of the cars made it. So he followed behind this one, which, you know, California people don't know shit about driving in uh, when the weather's bad and water and crap like that on the roads. You know, you don't go behind another car uh, if you're going to try to get through a, a deep section in case they stall out. And that's what happened. The car in front of him stalled out, so he had to stop. So boom, he stalled out. His car gets flooded. Got water in the engine, I guess, inside the car too. So, uh, and we're not just talking a little cheap car. It's a BMW 535D. So you're looking at a $70,000 car. He tried to make a submarine out of it. So, yeah, I don't know if it'd be totaled or not. Uh, they couldn't pull the cars out at that time because the water was too high and there was a lot of cars there in that area. So about three o'clock, this morning the tow truck dropped it off at the, the front of the house so yeah I guess that's what insurance is for and nobody got hurt so but yeah I just can't believe that's stupid you know come on you got to use common sense out here people if you see that water's up turn your ass around go back the other way doesn't make no sense you know even taking the risk you know because they had cars that floated off and shit you know, so there's one girl, a teenage girl, she's able to get out of her car before it went down a damn creek. Oh, there was a creek at that time. Anyway, so, you know, it's just like I say, people out here just don't use common sense because common sense ain't that common in California. So, that's it on my rant, but I'm just out today checking out, see what the water did. And been stuck in a house for a few days and now he's got my truck, so I don't have any way to get around on cold days. Or not cold days, but on wet days, so. So, but I got rain gear. And I don't mind my bike getting wet and dirty. I think it's going to be raisin cane, some chicken fingers. But yeah, we got plenty of rain here. I think our drought is over. Hopefully they're not too busy. This place is packed, man. Unless you get there right when they open between 10 and 11 o'clock. It's not that bad, but I've come several different times during the day and they're packed up because there's school not too far away and a lot of businesses in this area. Let's see. Yep, it's busy as hell, as usual. Where's the parking spot? There's one right there. This will work. <laughs> 